Can You Do This, Old Badger? Written by Eve Bunting. Illustrated by Louine Pham. It was the time between sunset and dark. Old Badger and Little Badger walked along the forest path. Little Badger jumped a little jump. Can you do this, Old Badger? I can, but not very well, Old Badger said. I used to be a good jumper, but now my legs are stiff. Little Badger tucked himself into a ball and rolled down the slope of the path. Can you do this, Old Badger? Maybe I could still do it, but it would be hard for me. I used to roll very well. Old Badger picked leaves and twigs from Little Badger's fur. Little Badger climbed up a bent, skinny tree. Can you do this, Old Badger? Two blackbirds danced out of the leaves into the sky. I can still climb, but only if I have to, Old Badger said. And I would climb backwards because it's easier. That's good to know, Little Badger came down and took Old Badger's paw. It's sad that you're old now and can't do many things. There are some things I can't do now, Old Badger said. But you help me remember how it was when I was young, and that makes me happy. Besides, there are lots of things I can still do, and lots of things I can teach you. He pointed. See where the ground is muddy from today's rain? There will be earthworms there. Come and eat. Old Badger was right. There were wriggles and wriggles of fat earthworms on the damp earth. Yum, said Little Badger. They ate and ate. When they were finished, Old Badger went to the stump of a tree. He raked at it with his claws. This is how you get the mud out from between your toes, he said. I can show you where to dig for bulbs of wild flowers in spring, Old Badger said. In summer, I can take you where the juiciest blackberries grow. I can teach you where the field mice make their nests. I can help you find honeybee hives. But remember, never go into a hive face first. You'll get your nose stung. A wise badger does not go in where the bees come out. I wish there was a honey beehive right here, right now, Little Badger said. Old Badger sniffed the air. There may be one in that rotting log. There was. They clawed through the top and got to the beehive before the bees got to them. Afterwards, they walked along, licking the honey from their paws. Yum, Little Badger said. They stopped by a wide stream. I can teach you to fish, Old Badger said. I didn't know badgers could fish, Little Badger was surprised. Some can. They stood in the stream. Old Badger flipped a shining fish onto the bank. Little Badger saw one swimming below. He tried to catch it, but it slithered through his paws. It looks easy, he said, but it's not. You'll learn, Old Badger said. It takes time. They sat on the bank of the stream to share Old Badger's fish. How do you know so much? Little Badger asked, his mouth full of fish. Because I've been around for a long time. And because many years ago, an Old Badger taught me. Someday you'll be an Old Badger, and you'll teach a Little Badger what you know. That's the way it was planned. Old Badger wiped Little Badger's mouth with the back of his paw. Will that Little Badger love me as much as I love you? Little Badger asked. He will, Old Badger said. That's part of the plan, too. And now it's nap time. Is that another part of the plan? Little Badger asked. It's another part of my plan, Old Badger said. They curled side by side in a hole on the bank of the stream. The night air was cool on their fur. Their paws were still sticky with honey and silvered with fish scales as together they slept under a badger moon.